What if you can truly allow yourself to feel all of the emotions that live within you? And what if this is the true medicine that you came here for? To remember, to deeply anchor into the capacity to feel. And what if this is not something bad or wrong, but it's actually the remedy that we need to come back to our true selves? We carry the seed of our ancestors within our very being. All of the human beings that came before you brought a story into their own life and they lived a complete unique life. But they are you. You are the result of all of your ancestors that came before you. So you carry the seed of their wisdom and of their joy, of their love, but as well as their pain that they haven't processed yet. So every time you feel something strong within you, it might not only be from this life, it might be an energy in motion, emotion from your ancestors. So whenever you feel something arising within you, the most vital key part is to have compassion for yourself. I wanted to share a little bit today because today's my birthday and last night there was a beautiful party with some amazing human beings and I felt this deep emotion arising within me of feeling lonely and disconnected. And it's such a deep emotion I've been feeling for my entire life. And I feel or see it as the core wound of humanity. It's the core wound of separation and feeling like not belonging onto this earth. And when I sat by the fire, I could really sit with it and I could feel it within my body and how it affected me. How I felt so weak and disconnected and just so vulnerable in that moment um, but I, I know and I, I knew that moment how important it is to feel it and to truly allow this emotion to arise and to come to the surface so I can release it a side note one of the most natural thing we do as babies or children is whenever we feel something we instantly cry and we have this instant relief and release it's it's as we were feeling something right in the next moment we allow ourselves to cry or to scream so this heaviness that we feel can be translated and we feel it you know this feeling being when you when you tune back of how it felt like being a child and you fell down to your knees and it hurt so bad and you just cried so much and your whole world was just yeah, crumbling in that moment, and it felt so heavy. But you relieved it. You released it. You let it go in that moment. And after many, many years when we grow up, we learn that we shouldn't cry anymore because crying is something that only people do that are weak. And we need to show up and be like filled with so much strength. And the Western society teaches us that tears are actually something wrong. But that's one of the core beliefs that we learn that is so the opposite of what is actually true. Because we are emotionally intelligent beings. And we came to this earth to learn and to grow through our emotions. And it is actually our greatest gift to have this body that is energy manifested into form, into human form, having this human body and being able to feel and also being able to feel hardship and to feel chaos and to feel heartbreak and pain because this is part of the evolution. So understanding that feeling these emotions yesterday, even though it was my birthday and I wanted to be happy and feeling light, I understood, okay, there's some sort of medicine for me here. And this is why I do this video, to share from my heart. Because we all find each other, we all, we all find ourselves in these moments over and over again in our lives where we feel heaviness and where we feel things coming up. And just wanted to make myself vulnerable and share authentically what I did in that moment, which was just allowing this 
deep emotion to come up to the surface and in the beginning I just sat with it and I didn't try to fix it or change it. I just helped myself, I sat by the fire and I also shared that I feel this way with some of my um, friends and that's something that is really important for me to have even if it's just one friend in your life that you can share everything with and in these most vulnerable vulnerable moments having someone that you can truly fully share with is such a beautiful medicine because then you don't feel alone anymore and if we truly make ourselves vulnerable this is where we don't feel alone anymore <laughs> and most of the core pains that we experience are based on this grand core wound of separation and of not feeling like we belong anywhere and we're all by ourselves feeling this deep pain but when we actually open up and when we have this one person in our lives that can hold us in these moments this feels uh, then we feel the support and if you don't have any person around you at the moment be your own support system even though you feel so much pain can you somehow connect with yourself and talk to yourself and be like okay I did that to myself yesterday. Daisha, it's okay that you feel this heaviness. It's okay that you go through this emotion right now. It will pass. It will transform itself through you. And I'm so proud of yourself that you feel this and that you sit by the fire and that you just allow this feeling to come through. And the more I just do that over and over and over again, the more it passes and the more it unfolds itself through me. So today in the morning when I woke up, I still felt this heaviness and I cried yesterday in the night so I could release, but it was still feeling kind of heavy and I didn't really know what to do and I didn't really feel comfortable. So of course there was a trigger coming up where I expected my family to, or my nephew to, being able to communicate with him on my birthday, but it just didn't align and so... In that moment, I felt so hurt and so triggered that this trigger actually allowed me to cry a lot. And seeing these triggers as opportunities <laughs> for us to feel, because this is truly why triggers happen. Triggers happen so that we can see our own shadow and that we can become aware of patterns and cycles that repeat in our lives. Because deep down... We all as humans don't really want to harm each other. It's just that we deeply trigger these wounds within ourselves and within, within each other. So having this trigger was a gift because I could cry a lot. And one thing that helps me a lot, a lot, a lot that I've been practicing for many, many years is writing. I have, um, I think I put it somewhere, but I have my diary, my, my book, and every time I feel something heavy, I really try to make time and space for myself. And I'm writing down and I start writing, I feel so much pain. And then I allow the p pain to express itself through me. And I hold so much space and compassion for myself in this, in this moment that it can fully be expressed through me. And I feel like I can hold myself through that and I can really go to the core and really understand, okay, why did that emotion come up? And emotions are always based on belief systems. And this belief system is a belief system of loneliness. And it's deeply anchored in, in all of us. Um, it's the belief of not belonging, of not feeling this, this divine union um, on this planet with human beings. So I could connect with it and I could release it. And I feel lighter now. And it's still a process, and I try to move really slowly today. Something that also is so important for me is to go into nature in these moments and to speak with her, with earth, with the home, with the divine feminine power that always holds us, with the true mother of all of us, of all of her children, which is us. Walking barefoot, connecting with water, taking a cold shower or a warm shower, taking a bath, doing something that really supports me, drinking a lot of fresh spring water, moving my body, moving slow, 
laying down, taking a nap, listening to music, talking to friends. This is so important. Another thing that really helps me is my therapist. I have a therapist I'm having calls with every week for two years. And she supports me so so much in moments when I feel chaos and disconnection, as well as in moments when I feel a lot of joy and a lot of bliss. And the journey of being human is like a wave. It is not linear. We all go through ups and downs and ups and downs over and over again. It's like a spiral. Because if it wouldn't be that way, this life wouldn't exist as it does in this moment. So truly anchoring into the knowingness that all of your emotions are valid and they need to be felt will change everything. And even though I've been holding myself literally a thousand times in this container, it still hurts and it's still chaotic and messy and it's wild and it's unpredictable and it takes patience and compassion over and over again. I show up for it and it's so many layers and there's always something new that comes up and something even deeper that allows me to dive even more to the core of myself but let me tell you something let me tell you something magical that happens if you fully allow yourself and relearn how to feel emotions you will feel so light after and you will have so much gratitude for any process or any emotion that you courageously walked through because you will always find yourself on the other side feeling fulfilled and feeling whole again because by alchemizing the emotion you realize who you truly are and the power of an alchemical journey you dive so deep into the shadow and you transform it into a gift and this is the principle of life itself and you've got this I want you to know that you're so deeply loved and that you're so deeply cared for and that you can ask for help and life will support you but you need to ask for help you need to ask for support and I'm sending the deepest love of my heart for everyone that goes through a deep emotional process right now I'm sending deep love and care and if you ever want to dive deeper on these subjects you can send me a message sending deep deep love thank you for listening and receiving these codes